Welcome back, everybody. Uh, so this is the redo of, of the video for uh, tangent, uh, finding tangent lines of circles, uh, lesson 27, Horror Review, part one. Uh, there was an error with a 1C before, so I had to feel like redo the video. Um, so hopefully this will be better, uh, at least hope so. And uh, again, uh, just to let you guys know, if you can, please like the video. Uh, you know, if you found it helpful, uh, and of course, you know, let me know if there are any things that I should be fixing them, or also in this case, if you a topic you want to go over, uh, especially in the time of with things that we might have done before, that hopefully be helpful. Okay, so circle x squared plus y squared equals 45 is shown graphed along with a 0.6 comma 3. And so what we're going to do is we're probably going to, I mean, I want to do in this case is I want to be able to plot 6 comma 3. So we go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, up 3, 1, 2, 3. So this is the point we're talking about here. Okay. And so we're going to determine the slope graphically. We're going to count boxes up and across. So we see in this case from the origin, we go up 1, 2, 3, and we go to the right 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So up 3 and right 6. So up 3. and right six will give us a slope of three over six, which is going to be, in this case, one half. So our slope of this segment that we connect will be one half. And that's that segment is going to be, in this case, the radius. So let's connect this, connect this here, our center of the circle with this point, is six comma three, all right, so that slope is going to be have a slope of six of uh, one half. Now we're going to draw in a tangent line to the circle using six comma three using a negative reciprocal slope of the one you found a. So our negative reciprocal slope, our negative reciprocal slope in this case is going to be a slope of negative two over one. So negative two over one. And so to find that, I'm going to plot those points as well from the point 6, 3. And negative 2 over 1 means we're going to go down to 1, 2, right 1. So this is a point here. And we go down to 1, 2, right 1. Repeat in the process, down to right 1. Okay, and then from, also we can go backwards by going up to and left 1. So this is something you guys should have covered um, about graphing maybe algebra one classes up to left one or maybe earlier on in the geometry class okay up to left one and so we're going to connect the line for those points it's a lot easier to plot the points first and to connect them and so let me connect this with a dotted line so here we go this will be the line we're going to draw now you'll use a straight edge of course and so all right hopefully hit, hit the points all right Okay, so this is what you should be graphing. And so instead of eyeballing it, ladies and gentlemen, you should be using your straight, the points help you find the, find the tangent line. Okay, now, great. So we want to now find, in this case, it says, what is the y-intercept of the tangent line? So we want to find a tangent line. This is the error I made before. I, I just uh, plugged into my formula. Instead, I want to find the equation of a tangent line. And to do this, we know our slope is going to be negative 2 over 1. And we're going to be passing through the points. We'll be passing through the point of 6, 3. 6, 3. And so to find this, we'll use our, our, our what they call the... Um, our, our point slope form, which is going to be here, y minus y sub zero, y sub zero, is equal to m, the slope, times x minus x sub zero. And so these are, when I put x sub zero, really mean in this case, like, so they're not what time zero, they're going to be subscripts in this case. So I'll put the subscripts in there. Okay, put the subscripts in there. This would be helpful. Okay, and so what happens is the x0 and the y0 we're talking about are going to be, in this situation, the x and the y values we found here. So we're going to write this in here. And so our equation is going to be, in this case, y, oops, no longer need subscripts. 
Okay, so we're going to have y minus, and so the y value here of the point is 3, is equal to the slope, which is negative 2, parenthesis, x minus, and the x sub 0 is going to be the 6 value. So this is going to be their equation of the tangent line in point slope form. So why, what is the y-intercept? Okay, so we can now find this equation, and we're going to do the following. We're going to know, we know the, in the y-intercept that we get x value is going to be 0. So we get y minus 3 is equal to negative 2, 0 minus x, which means y minus 3 equals, now negative 6 times negative 2 is 12, which add 3 to both sides, y equals 15. And this is our y-intercept. y equals 15, the coordinate will be 0, 15. And uh, shout out to Angeline for bringing some my attention. Okay, thanks so much. All right, so we find the equation of the tangent line to help us figure out the answer. So we want to see the whole thing, oh, full page. Okay, so here we found the equation of the, of the tangent line, and that equation is this equation here. And we use this, in this case, to help us find the y-intercept. You could have, in this case, also just, we could have done, you know, by taking the equation and just solve for y. Uh, we would have gotten the same thing. We would have gotten, in this case, um, we would have gotten y equals negative 2x plus 12 plus 3, or y equals negative 2x plus 15, and here we see the y-intercept, okay? All right, let's continue. Make this a uh, page width again to our page, question number two. And so for question number two, if the tangent line circle uh, from x squared plus y squared equals 25 is drawn at the point 3 comma negative 4, then its slope should be. Well, so we want to find the slope of the radius. So the slope of the radius, and that will be in this case negative 4 minus 0 because the origin, our center is the origin in this situation. So negative 4 minus 0 over 3 minus 0 is going to be negative 4 over 3. That's the slope of the radius. But the slope of the tangent line is going to be the negative reciprocal. In this case, 3 over 4. Okay? We use the negative reciprocal because of the fact that the tangent line is going to be reciprocal. Sorry about that. Um, because the tangent line is perpendicular to the radius intersects. So negative 4 over 3 is the slope of the radius, not the correct answer, but the slope of the tangent to a circle at point 3 comma negative 4 will be choice 1, 3 over 4. Question number 3. A diameter of a particular circle has endpoints at negative 1 comma negative 2 and 3 comma 10, which is the following with the slope of the tangent drawn to the circle at point B. And so, again, we do the same exact things before. We're going to find the slope of AB, which will be the slope of the diameter, but it has the same effect being perpendicular to the tangent line. And so we'll do 10 minus negative 2 all over 3 minus negative 1. And we get 12 over 4, which is 3 over 1. But again, we're looking for the which of the following slope is slope of the tangent drawn to the circle. And so the slope of the tangent would be slope tangent is a negative reciprocal again. So we would get in this case negative 1 over 3. And so that is the correct answer in this case. The slope of the diameter, 3 over 1, the slope of the tangent line is perpendicular, is negative 1 over 3. Okay. So, reminder that the tangent line is perpendicular to the radius, or in this case, the diameter, intersects of the circle at the point of tangency, at the point of tangency. And it looks like in this case, um, it would be the same for either point A or point B, okay? And finally, question number four, for in the part one, a circle has a center located at 2, 5 and passes through the point 10, 3. Determine the equation of a circle. And so we're going to do use our formula, which is x minus h squared plus y minus k squared equals r squared, where our center is h comma k and our radius is r. And so we're going to now uh, first, well, we know we actually know what the center is. This is the center. That's h comma k is going to be 2 comma 5. 
So we're going to plug into here and we'll get x minus 2 squared plus y minus 5 squared equals r squared. To find r, we're going to use a distance formula. And so r is equal to the square root of 2 minus 10 squared plus 5 minus 3 squared. So r is equal to the square root of negative 8 squared plus 2 squared. And that means r equals the square root of 64 plus 4, which is equal to the square root of 68. Now, I normally simplify this on the radius, but we're looking for r squared. And r squared is going to be 68. So our equation is going to be here, x minus 2 squared plus y minus 5 squared equals 68. So that's the equation we're looking for. So this is our answer for part A. Now for part B. Write the equation of tangent line to the circle at the point 10, 3. Okay, so the equation of tangent line circle, we, we know that we're going to do in this case by the following. We're going to find the slope of our ten, of the of the tangent line to the uh, slope of the radius uh, to a center which is 2 comma 5 2 point 10 comma 3 so our slope of the radius is equal to in this case 3 minus 5 over 10 minus 2 okay and so we're going to get negative 2 over 8, or negative 1 fourth. Please remember our slope formula is y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. Okay, and so now the slope of the tangent line, we know is going to be negative reciprocal, which will mean our slope will be 4 positive 4 over 1. And so we have a slope of 4 passing to the point 10 comma 3. Using our point slope form, we're going to get y minus 3 is equal to 4 times x minus 10. And this will be the equation of our tangent line. Now, if we want to rewrite this in, in, uh, in our slope area set form, we're going to take solve for y. y minus 3 equals 4x minus 40, adding 3 to both sides. You can express this equation as y is equal to 4x minus 37. This is also valid as well. Okay, so there's more than one way to definitely find the equation of our tangent line here. Uh, but we had to find the center, we had to, uh, we'll have the center, we had to find the slope of this of, of the radius, and then of course, take the negative reciprocal slope, use the point slope form to help us find the equation of tangent line at the point of tangency. Let me make this full screen. You guys just take a look so this is the end of question this is question number four and the end of part one please make sure you catch part two which is question number five which is a great test question ladies and gentlemen just to let you guys know great test questions uh, thank you so much for watching i appreciate this and uh thank you so much for uh for the corrections because you know i'm not perfect and you know i appreciate all corrections and i will redo videos if it's a it's a big deal and i think it's a big deal as well too your learning is more important than anything Okay, and I want to stress to everybody that grades are more that grades are not as important, not as important as the learning. Okay, the learning is more important, and you guys will have to do this later on, maybe in algebra two, and most definitely pre-calc as well as calculus. The tangent line thing is a big deal. All right, ladies and gentlemen, thanks so much for watching. Please remember to hit the like button, subscribe to the channel, and turn on alerts, so turn on notifications, so that you guys know when new videos drop. I noticed that some of you guys saw this before I posted onto uh, Google's Classroom. Thanks so much, ladies and gentlemen. Take care, and I will see you soon. Be safe.